There's a saying in statistics that says, basically, if you keep looking hard enough, you're going to find a significant difference whether it happened by chance or not. So we're going to discuss real quick the post hoc analysis of the Bonferroni correction, commonly called the Bonferroni error correction. But what is it? It is a penalty for researchers that will correct for the over-comparison making by the person in charge there, whoever's doing the research. But it's an error rate correction formula. What it does is it reduces the size of your critical alpha. Remember, your critical alpha is normally 0.05, and if your probability value of all your calculations and all your test statistics is less than 0.05, then you're going to reject the null. So what, that, what this is going to do is it's going to change that critical alpha. So this is how it works. If you make more comparisons than there are in a number of groups, then you're supposed to use the Bonferroni error correction by taking the original alpha, normally it's 0.05, and you're going to divide it by the number of comparisons that you, that you made, that the researcher made. Okay. So let's do an example. Let's say we have five treatment groups. And we want to compare the following sets. We want to compare group 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. And we want to compare 1 to 3, 2 to 4, 3 to 5, 4 to 1. And lump group 1 and 2 and compare that to the lump group 3 and 4. And same thing, 1, one and 2 is one group versus 4 and 5 is a second group. Now look, that's 10 different comparisons. But we only had five groups. I hope that sinks in. Remember, if you keep looking, you're going to find, you should find a significant difference at least 5% of the time. That's that's the way um, statistics works. So our Bonferroni error correction would be, we would take the original alpha divided by the number of comparisons. So the original alpha is 0.05 divided by 10. So your new critical alpha is 0 0.005. So in other words, you would not be able to reject the null hypothesis unless your test statistic generated a p-value of less than 0 0.005. So that's a big difference. And that's your new critical alpha. And this is how it works. You take your, your new alpha is going to take your family-wise error rate alpha, which is normally 0 0.05. You're going to divide it by the number of comparisons. And some other information you need to know about the Bonferroni is it's uh, it's it's best used for small families of tests. It is the most common used for family-wise error rate correction. And it is used in other stats tests, not just the ANOVAs. But that's it. Hope you liked it. MGZ, out.